viewer. You can't talk because people could be listening. This is the start of the podcast where we go silent. You look like a dark haired Charlie Hunnam. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Muffin here, joined by... Molly! Who? <laughs> <laughs> <Huh>? Molly! <laughs> Motley. Motley, oh yeah, Motley. Motley. Right. Okay. Hashtag it, Steve. Enunciate. <laughs> Molly. Mo- Molly. Oh, it's, 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 it's Steve! <laughs> and to my left. What up, guys? It's David, keeping it together. <laughs> Keeping it together indeed. <laughs> that was a nice one that you dropped, although now that I suddenly think that you probably are in love with me. <laughs> Can't wait till Steve leaves. Yeah. You tell the ghost story and make him leave. Yeah. Yeah, don't. There is actually a couple of ghost stories for this place. No, no okay. No, okay. No. I won't tell you. My we'll, house is haunted. We'll save it for the horror for the horror podcast. I'm pretty sure my house is haunted. Yeah, your lessons will be down in October. I ain't listening. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, there was one time I got home early from work and I could hear Ash screaming in the bedroom, like, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. I went in, she's covered in ectoplasm and the wardrobe's shaking. So. <laughs> I knew that one was coming. <laughs> oh God. I didn't. No. <laughs> dad jokes. Dad jokes, dad jokes. What are we talking about today, fellas? Game of Thrones. Fitness. What? I'm kidding. I'm just. I'm I'm just. I was like, no. (laughs) So I've been listening for like the last three episodes that they've done episode episode four. I'm sitting like shouting at the screen half the time, going, "Oh, it's blah. It's this. It's that. Oh, wish it was there." So you try to say that we don't know anything. No, I'm not saying that. Oh, I'm not saying that. (laughs) We know nothing, (laughs) John John Doe. Doe. (laughs) Apparently, apparently so. Um, Well, I don't know the name of the episode because I'm a cockbag. Do any of you know the name of the episode? Burn, I just... baby, Drop burn. Of my head. Disco mm. and burn now. No, and that annoys me because I literally just watched it like an hour ago. Like for the first time? Or again? No, hell no. Same thing. So I could get the order right of what happened. Ah, uh, okay. Before the thing that we're all going to talk about, which is really obvious. Well, I watched um, it this, this afternoon. The Spoils of War. Yes, the spoils of war, excellent. Because I can't take notes when I watch stuff anymore because it makes me anxious as fuck and not enjoy it. Mm. And it also increases the time. Mm. And then I, I get into this weird... Do you know? Do you remember when you were a kid at school and you'd be told like to highlight the important parts mm-hmm. on a paper? <laughs> Mine's was just all yellow. Mine's was I'd just start off with a couple picks. of lines and then it'd be all yellow. I was just drawing squatty dicks. So. I quite believe it as well. You still, he still does that, doesn't he? Mm. At his place of work. I nearly changed the Twitter picture yesterday to a paint-drawn pic dick that I got sent. If, 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 I, if I remember rightly, you drew a set of boobs to me in the communicator work today too. I sure <laughs> did. I sure did. A booby, a shaking head, and another booby. booby. He was motorboating. Motorboating. <laughs> and this is why we don't have girls on the show. <laughs> yeah, I would do it for real. Nah. I'd give myself a concussion. <laughs> <laughs> Are they that dense? Is that ever just... Depends. But it's probably more the head shaking, you know, like a magic eight ball. <laughs> You're still okay right now. Ask again later. <laughs> I like the head bob there at the end. It's very nice, very nice. Well... God damn. There God you go, kid. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you stole myself, you motherfucker. You're going to have to speak louder. Hashtag it, Steve. Because I'm far away? Because your voice is small. My voice is small? Oh, yes. I'm confused now. You've got the voice of a small person. I am a small person. Put some goddamn bass in your voice, son. <laughs> no, no, that's that whole projection thing that I don't do. Oh, right, okay. The actors do. 
You guys are actors. I'm not. Oh yeah, we know how to turn it on, don't we? <coughs> I know how to turn them all on. Just like, yeah, you let's do. Get it on. <laughs> let's get it on. Sugar. You don't always have to fuck her hard. In fact, sometimes it's not right to do it. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes you gotta make some love and yeah. fucking give us some smoochies too. This isn't getting on YouTube no. now. No. <laughs> yes, it absolutely is. You don't know that song? Sometimes well. you got I to squeeze. Words, uh, it's Nisha D. Yes. Uh, Sometimes you got to say please. Was I'm gonna Virginia? fuck you. What's that? Was that actually Stop called? Stop it. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna What's screw you, you Jim. 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 What's that? I'm gonna bone you, you? you? Yeah. Oh, sweetly. 2002 or 2003, I went to see them. Yeah? Oh. Yeah. And we went the whole night without a single Jack Black reference to my brother. <gasps> and then on the way out the door, he went to get water from the bar, and the barman went, you got off the stage quick. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Quality. <laughs> Just as more than a false sense of security, the bar must think of... Every time someone came to the bar, oh, the bar must been like, listen guys, don't, I want, it. here's a free pint, I want this one, give it to me. <laughs> Set it up the whole night, whole night. Here you, come here, come here, come here, here's a free pint, don't, don't, stop looking at him, it's not him, stop looking, I'm taking it, I'm feeling this one. Anyway, Game of Thrones. Yes. Cersei seems to be good at paying off her debts. Hmm. Well, yeah, got away with it just, though. <laughs> I was pretty pretty impressed with that scene, I, but I think I've jumped ahead just a fraction because we start off with Robson and Jerome yeah. and Jamie. <laughs> Which one is he? Jerome. Robson or... Jer- uh, he's Jerome. Jerome Flynn. He's Jerome. Yeah. Was it you that told me that on a podcast once and I was like, oh, I think so, yeah. Mind blown. <laughs> That's not the same guy. It's like it's people are soldier. still getting their mind blown with the hound being the Yarp guy, Michael, from <laughs> Hot Fuzz. I don't. I've not seen Hot Fuzz. Oh, uh, Hot Fuzz is. I didn't want to see it because it looked like it was shit. You know? Hot Fuzz is. Not used to do the Scotch Porridge adverts. As well. Yes, that's I've right. seen the, that picture, and he's <laughs> yeah. like, it's like what? <laughs> yeah. This but guy. Hot Fuzz is actually one of the like soundest comedies in that it's it's very 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 well done. It is. Yeah, it's I, 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 I would give it a shot. It's very clever. I think. Is it's, that before or after I watch all the indie films that your brother tells me to watch? I, definitely before. Yeah? <laughs> uh, definitely. What up, Ian? <laughs> Thanks for listening. Yeah. He's not listening. Yeah. He's not listening. Come on, I bet, bet he listens to all of them. He's just like, these guys fucking sleep me all the time. What a bunch of cops. <laughs> I hate every one of them. Is that why he comes and sits here and he's this little broody in the he just, He's just like, like this angry. episode you can't sleep me because I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> That doesn't stop you. <laughs> Not really, no. Well, it fuels the fire. Well, it's, it's just, it's because of you. It's all your fault. You being he, being David, being mm. pronouns, pal. Yeah, it's because, <laughs> like, pointing at me, you know, works very well. For audio. Does it? Yeah, on audio. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> audio, yes. I was about to say radio, but it's not radio. Well, it's kind of like radio. Yeah, kind of. Except for we're not getting paid, like, three million bucks from the BBC. Yeah. I'm going to bash you over the head with a VHS. Then I can start singing Video Killed the Radio Star. It wouldn't kill me. Wow. I could hit you really hard. It's, no, I think What's your biggest box set? Videos Killed the Radio Star. I don't think anyone would be too bothered by the semantics. Speaking about... Uh, yeah, that's true. Speaking about video, I managed to hook up my VCR to my TV the other day. Oh, wow. Did you sort your tracking? No, I can't find the control. Oh, no! The controller for it. Has it got like, that weird line? That there is a tracking thing on it. It's, it's actually okay. There's a tracking thing, I think, on the VCR, so I'm going to have a wee fiddly. Um, <laughs> and then you're going to try and fix your VCR. <laughs> well, actually... Oh, I knew that was... <laughs> Don't finish that no. one. <laughs> I, I, oh, no, what's happening? In jokes. No, no, he said... No, no, I, I was going to say... That was, and then he was stopped himself. The last word. Coming. Oh, uh, yeah, spell all out. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna do a forward roll. Call me tumbleweed. <laughs> I can't. If, if I'm perfectly honest, I can't really hear between the laughing and the, the hilarity. <laughs> That's right. Right. But um, yeah, I've got loads of like loads of porn on v- VCR, <laughs> on VHS. Sorry, that I want to just like watch with one last time <laughs> for the old times. Give it a good old send off. Yeah. yeah, like 
You know, some really some of the old ladies that, that and they'll all look really weird. Oh yeah, they'll have all aged since the last time you watched it. Love nineties hairdo. No, 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 no. But they, <laughs> when they're committed to to film, they stay the same age on the film. You see, David, they don't age as time goes what? on. So they'll still look twenty. But they do. In real life, but I'm not going to see them in real life. Right, okay. Because I'm watching porn. But then if you watch it on video, you will see them in real life again. <sighs> I'm so confused. Anyway, there used to be like free porn channels, remember? Back in the late uh, you'd get like You'd get like Maybe half an hour or something like that. Ten before minutes it, of I was at ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, but occasionally they'd fuck it up and just have it on the whole night. So I've got some videos that are just like porn for the whole night. Yeah, I think I remember this. And live I've TV. heard about this. No, no, come on, boys. <laughs> So I want. Hey, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it's not like girls girls getting fucked by horses or taking shits on glass tables, but it's okay. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> he's cowering in fear. <laughs> I used to when I went to uni. <laughs> Wait, now, now finish that sentence very quickly. <laughs> when I went to uni, you would go on the train, right, and it just became this thing where you'd switch your Bluetooth on on your phone. <laughs> And then people would just start sending all this fucked up shit, shit over Bluetooth, right? You'd be like, file from such, accept it. And it's like, women getting pumped by a dog. It's like, delete. Next one. Women shitting on it. Delete. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah, and it was mental. There was just this, like, unspoken sort of exchange. All these students going back to uni would just change, like, exchange all the fucked oh, up right. shit they'd got, you know? <laughs> and just share it with randomers. Sounds great. Have you got any of it? <laughs> Nothing left, unfortunately. Uh, you can Google it now. <laughs> yeah. Things anyway, just, I think we're off track. It's not as exciting when you can just be like, I want to watch, you know, a midget and a donkey smashing a girl while she's getting a golden shower. Boom. Oh, it's there. Oh, well. <laughs> Boring. You know? it's part of, the, part of it is the chase. <laughs> Come on, lads. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyway, and, and, and ladies, yeah, we've just like alienated half our listeners. Well, I was speaking, speaking to you guys. <laughs> you, yeah, and they're having to listen. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. Oh, we're, we're recording. Oopsie. <laughs> anyway, Game of Thrones. Yeah, yes. <clears throat> uh, Jamie and Jerome are having a wee speaky at the start of the episode. Mm-hmm. With Dick on. Is that, that the <laughs> bit where he started burst out laughing? That's fucking brilliant. No, that was later on. Yeah. That's near the... Uh, yeah, that's, that's just before... Shit gets real. Because you've got him oh, okay. and you've got Theon, so it's dick on and dick off. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's probably how it actually went down in the board meeting, <laughs> when you think about it. Yeah. <laughs> I thought Jerome's hair was extra dyed this time. Who did it? Like darker. Yeah. Did it not? Yeah. Probably yeah. so you could tell it was him in the final moment. Oh, you think so? Yeah, probably. Uh, that's a good shout, actually. Maybe. Especially with all the kind of smoke. Mm-hmm. Of in case you didn't realise this is a spoiler episode of course so yeah. you mean you could you could listen to us before you watch the episode can I've got to be honest though if you listen to this and you've not watched it yet then what, what are you doing what yeah. are you doing with your life yeah. just give up now give maybe up. they're watching Celebrity Big Brother bum the hero that right <laughs> I missed it tonight for this See the, see the look we're getting for that eh? <laughs> oh I'm sorry what did you miss <laughs> Paul Paul Danan from fucking Hollyoaks Acting like a complete yeah, arsehole. Pointing up Sarah Harden, who's an emotional wreck. It's great. Yeah. Paul Denan looked like an orange when he went I in. know, right? Because I witnessed some of the opening bit, and I walked in, looked at him, and went, <laughs> who the fuck is that? I knew who it was straight away. thing is... I didn't. When I he don't. was in Hollyoaks, he was a really They're good actor. so nobody knows who they are. Hmm. Well, I didn't know who hardly any of them mm, were. No, even I'm, even I'm starting to get rusty now. I'm sorry, if you get classed as a celebrity, that's your career over. You're yeah. a Hollywood star... You're a TV star, you're a musician, you're a singer, or you're a celebrity. Celebrity means that you're going to be doing all the fucking bullshit. Yeah, celebrity is when it's like, oh, what you got for me? You know, I'll, I'll eat a slug, I'll, you know, yeah. go in a jungle, you know. I'll revive my career for six oh, months. I like I'm a celeb too. Yeah. Oh, you fucking... <laughs> what is wrong with you? Jesus Christ. Honestly. I'll tell you one thing, though. There is a girl in it that I really quite like. And um, when I say a girl, she's probably like 45, but whatever. And Celebrity Big Brother because I watched I had the privilege of watching oh, the opening so, night. What Brandy Glanville, the American, blonde. She's got she's so blonde. She's got really long off legs. She came with the see through stuff. Yeah, yeah, Brandy Glanville. Wow, she's nice. Yeah, she's Is great. she a total dick or what's her what's her personality like? No, she seems fine. Yeah, she seems totally sane. Switched mm. on. Yeah, I like her. 
Okay, anyway. So, it's for the third time, right? We're, at, we're with <laughs> Jamie and Jerome. Jamie and Jerome, yes. So yes. They have a bit of a chat. Uh, I can't remember this, but I, Tarly, I'll be honest. Tarly Dad comes up and chats them too. Yes. I can remember this bit. And See when a big finish happens. Can't remember the start. Can't remember the foreplay. That's well, that's what I you rely on, isn't it? That's why uh, I want the recap. Yeah. Because like, you've said it on previous podcasts, if you watch it on Monday night when it first comes out, yes. by the time it gets to Thursday, you're like, oh shit, what yeah. actually happened again? That's why I save it till Thursday now, yeah, yeah. but then the it's problem with that is it Monday, makes it really yeah. tight yeah. to watch it sometimes. Yeah. So what they were talking about was basically Jerome was saying, you know what? I've never had a castle. Where's You, you, you always say a Lannister always pays his debts. Where's my fucking castle? Where's my money? And he's, Jamie's like, just give you a sack full of coin. Mm. Yeah. And which which comes back later on when Jerome falls off his horse and he's, <laughs> well, he that, looks yeah, at the sack of coin. Because that was really held. Like, yeah, and deliberately I, focused that he's going to have to run away from that bag of money. That I thought he was point. going to go grab the money no, and I get himself thought, killed. Uh, okay, I thought yeah, he was yeah, going yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But you know, like in... Um, I think that was maybe the intention was to make you think like that. Because mm. honestly, I was like, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. But, <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that bit later. But that's what they were talking about. And uh, Jamie's kind of like, motherfucker, I just give you all this gold. You know, you can have any castle you want in... What? Well, not, Where's not in go? months, but... Whenever we Once finish the, the war, won. Yeah. You, you can you can have your pick of the castles, and then Jerome's like, "Yeah, but your sister's kind of a bitch, right?" And Jamie's like, ah, "Maybe not all, well, maybe a little bit." <laughs> <laughs> and and he, even he's just like, "Well, okay." He's kind of like, but, "Yeah, exactly, yeah." That was brilliant. <laughs> but J- J- Jerome, no, I love this in that guys. You want to explain? What it happened? was a physical. A stick of his hand, you know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> could, have, could have maybe been like that as well, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> this is party trick. <laughs> Jerome's probably the only, one of the only people that can say that to Jamie, though. I think that's what's good about them too. Is he? Uh, well, about Bron specifically. Bron says what he thinks. Like, he, yeah. he doesn't hold back. Doesn't care. Have you read Kev's theory on Bron? I can't read. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's why I do a, pod, a podcast, <laughs> and okay. you've you've seen me like. Type to you guys, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, that's, that's a fair point. <laughs> Being is quite often bring, and there's a whole bunch of words that are always mixed up for other ones. It's just. I woke out. up to a pretty bad one for him this morning. Oh, why? Oh, something like, uh, where's, <laughs> where's Thames Sante page? <laughs> and I just woke up and I'm looking at it going, and what I'm, the I'm, fuck I is caught, he talking I about? Myself it, what was, it must have been about six o'clock. It's it was a, I don't know, it was a back I, I read of seven. It and I was like, Six, and then I corrected it and said, "He's <laughs> damage was done by then." I'm not sure. What were you trying to say? Where's the Sandy page? Ah, okay. Because one of our sponsors one. is a place called Sandy. Oh, I'm aware of that, but I wasn't sure where the yes, name no, Sandy was. I was trying to give you a nice lead in there. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Okay, okay. I'll do it when I want to do it, motherfucker. Thanks, Sandy. Anyway. So, Game of Thrones, Let, let's, we yes, need to move yes, this yes, on. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so. I think there's just too much hilarity because we've not all been together Jimmy, for a while. So the Jimmy <laughs> Braun thing happened, then it was in the Red Keep with the boy from the Iron Bank. I don't actually know his name. Stephen Moffat, I don't know what his character name yeah, is. Yeah, I don't know what his character name is. Um, I call him Mycroft. Mycroft? Because oh. it's, it's, uh, it's quite similar, isn't it? It's Sherlock's brother. From... Oh, right, that's where I've seen it. I've seen something yeah. on Twitter. Or he's also, I think he's been yes, in Doctor Who as well. Yeah. yeah, talking about Cersei clearing her debts and the fact that the Iron Bank liked liked having that high account that was creating lots of interest for them and stuff. So, see, uh, this raised some questions for me mm-hmm. because the Lannisters are extremely rich, mm-hmm. although they're in debt, you know, but they've paid off their debts to the Iron Bank. Mm-hmm. So, how rich is the Iron Bank? Because if I'm Cersei, I'm thinking. Maybe I just take the money and keep it for myself and then go and kill everyone in the Iron Bank I, and take all their money too and then I am the Iron Bank. Yeah, well, there's that, that's, so that's, that, yeah, that's a very good point, actually. So, Why doesn't she take all of her bravos and own the Iron Bank? Ergo, or is there just... maybe maybe uh, the Iron Bank have like a crazy massive army. I reckon they will do. If they can afford it. But if, if you've got... Well, if you're do. transporting money, what do you invest in? Soldiers, security, yeah, yeah. So it'll be the Iron Bank who's probably like, because 
Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to kind of control people with the fear of you need to pay your mm-hmm. debt back. They just like, oh, give some money back. No, oh, okay. Well, this is this is my point. Well, so they must Bra- have a huge army. Isn't Bravos where Sirio Farrell yep. and Jack and Hagar and the the house of whatever it's called? Was it you that mentioned the theory about him earlier? No, no, no. There's a theory that they. I the recognise both those names, but I can't remember. Oh yeah, Sirio was the swordsmaster from series one who taught Arya. Oh yeah, pe- 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 is there? Yeah. There's a theory that he and Jack and Hagar are the same man. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. A man knows something. A man does know something. A man knows nothing. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but yeah that could be that could be quite a really clever twist on it. What happened to Jack and Lagar? Le- Lagar? Jack and Hagar. Hagar. Well, no, I didn't. He let just got Jack left. Just yeah, he let, he let, her let, go. let her go. I thought that they were. He yeah. was in the same place as. Let go. So he he blinded Arya. That was season <clears throat> five. Yeah. But yes. in the season six, she had no eyes, and she was teaching the way to trying to teach her to fight blind and all that rubbish. Yeah. And eventually, she kind of <clears throat> almost won her freedom. And I think Jacqueline was just kind of like, "Okay, I've taught you what you need to do now, and you go." Here's some eyes. No, I think so she betrayed him, and then he sent Waif after her to kill her. She killed Waif, went back, and he went, "You know what? On you go," kind of thing. Oh, was that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So anyway, that was season six podcasts. Mm-hmm. And he um, and so the, the boy Iron Bank, though interestingly, he mentioned a bunch of cell swords, which I don't remember the name, right? Um, of which is really irritating me now. Um, which then somebody else was talking about on the internet about that that's maybe where Gendry is. Maybe Gendry leads this. Army, ah, right, okay. Which we explain because he's coming back, even though he's been raised both for three seasons. Yeah, he's gonna ha- he's gonna be pumped. Like his chest is gonna be fucking. He's gonna be huge because he was in pretty good shape <laughs> hey, before yeah. he started rowing the fucking boat. Yeah, because he's, he's, he's an you know, so mm-hmm. Well, yeah. did you ever watch Skins? No, was he in that? He was in that. There's a few of them that's in that. Um, Gilly was in it Gilly, as well. Yeah, Hannah Murray. Hmm. Hannah Murray isn't. I have no idea. Oh, okay, right. I call she, her Gilly. She was the, yeah, Gilly. Yeah, <laughs> um, she was in it. Yeah. She she was kind of like this messed up kind of crazy space or check. Skins, that Kyla's the first couple of seasons was quite good. So I actually don't know what <coughs> is. Yeah. Nicholas Holt was in it as well. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was pretty sweet. So they've all got, actually all of them jumped on something. It was a, apparently they were really good in it. Like right. yeah. the first season, maybe the first half of the second season, maybe even the whole second season was, I, was really good. I think I bought it on DVD and never actually watched it. I really wanted to and never got round to it. <laughs> Wasn't indie enough. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but Gendry was... Gendry? Gendry, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure with names people deal with it. Gendry, <laughs> he was in that and he was like a total, like, basically a junkie, a teen junkie. Hmm. And skinny and he had like spots and the whole thing. And then when he appeared in Game of Thrones, he was like handsome and totally jacked. And you're like, huh? Eh? <laughs> How the fuck? Well, I'm you know? you, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, if all that rowing, he's going to be yeah. massive now. Yeah. It'd be worth a Google, possibly. Mm-hmm. What? A, a Google yeah. of him to see if, if the guy, the so actual actor, is heavy jacked. To do it. Yeah, and see. Bet he probably is. Steve's like, what, Google oh, right, right now? No, no, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm kind of, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking ahead as well. So the Iron yeah, Bank have basically right. aligned themselves with Cersei now. Pretty yeah, much. Because they're happy to then fund her war. Yeah, it's like, here's, your mo- here's my money back. Thanks, right. have it back again. We we'll, lend yeah. you, we'll lend you more then. You're basically, your slate's clean. A show of good faith. Going. Here's some think, money. But I think the plan is that she wants to take a shit lot more out. Yeah. Because she's going for, like, domination this time around. Which, obviously, the Iron Bank's like, well, if you paid off that one so readily... And you're now able to dominate, then you'll earn more. Yeah. And, and, steal more from and if you places. don't, then you're going to owe us more interest and we liked interest. So yes, it's all win, 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 win. Yep. I kind of feel like she was going to kill that motherfucker at some point, though. But the boy from there? Boy? I don't yeah. think so. I think that would be a dumb move. No, yeah. I think she, she they play the game. The Iron Banker, and we, like we just said, talked about Iron Banker, fairly untouchable. He's that decent. He's not, he's not a rip rip, but he's definitely yeah. been doing something. I, I imagine uh, this is fairly Just keep, keep himself in shape for. Yeah. He's probably on some kind of retainer, and that's part of the contract. You reckon? Yeah, they'd have to pay him to keep him coming back like four years later or something like that. You think? Well, he's not. What's he done in the last four big, years? On a show as big as Game of Thrones, I think if you're cast it, you're not killed if off. You, they ask you to come back. But if the requirement later. for you coming back is for you to still be ripped or to be even more jacked than before, yeah. you need something to say. Well, I'm going to need funding for that. Yeah, but the showrunners would have been sensible enough to go to him, like you know, at least six months before and say, "Right, time to get back in the gym, sunshine, because you're coming back." 
Mm. Yeah, they they probably do that. And he looks like a nutty professor, and he's like, uh, <laughs> "Shit, it's <laughs> gonna take me longer than six months." Use the fork. He changes skin color. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> well, he might do. He's got all the chocolate. <laughs> that was a fat joke, anyway. right? Yeah. All <laughs> oh, right. I, 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 Steve no, shot himself yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. I, I, no, you don't want to know what's going on in my head there. Right. Never so, do. <laughs> so then we moved on to. Did it involve a glass table by any chance? No, but it did involve shit. Anyway, um, Baelish uh, and, <laughs> and the dagger. Hang on a minute. Rewind. Whoa. Right. You were it talking about involve... this and the nutty professor, and then I thought of a fat ass and then shit being wiped over a fat ass face, but I don't know why. Anyway, yeah, like, I don't know why. Either. What? what are you kidding, right? <laughs> <laughs> What's that stuff you were talking about? Probably that stuff you were talking about. Tell you what, he's going to have nightmares tonight. Right. Put your feet at that end of the couch, put your head at this end, and tell me about your mother. <laughs> <laughs> and you're one fucked up individual if that's where your head went. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> this is what happens when you spend a whole day, every day, sitting at a computer. Yeah, we, we just you get sicker from like screen death. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. stage death. You, you, get, you get a little bit more smeagly every day. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, woman. <laughs> precious. <laughs> oh, so we're twenty five <laughs> minutes into this podcast, oh, shit. and we're about like three minutes third. into Game of this Thrones. This is the third out of about ten things. Right? Brilliant. We're so, bad at this tonight. Yep, thirty percent. So we're into we're into Winterfell. So we've got Bailey's chatting to Bran and giving him the dagger. It's not Bran. It's Brandroid. 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 <laughs> that was brilliant, that meme you sent me. <laughs> explain, so the explain. Terminator, the Terminator. Yeah, the oh, Terminator choices. The Terminator choices. I'm sure it? everyone that's listening oh, to this has already seen it. Yeah, Do you need probably. to sit? Can you sit any closer to me? I was going like, to sit holy shit. He's actually touching legs and everything. Yeah, He's no. got, he keeps getting so much closer to me, I can't man spread properly. Don't look, yeah, you don't actually look that comfy. You keep there, grumbling man. about not being close enough to the mic. Yeah, so you see Brian, he's got Him, four choices. you. Tell Sansa Littlefinger got father killed. Tell Sansa that John is a Targaryen. Tell Sansa the White Walkers are closer than everyone thinks. Or tell Sansa she looked beautiful the night she was horrifically raped. <laughs> Brackets smile. <laughs> <laughs> Select. Uh, so many, yeah. Oh, that was weird. That was a bit weird. I don't like that. I, I don't. That's know, your I mean, future Night King. Well, yeah. You still think so? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm convinced by that. Kev was buying into that theory now. Yeah, so Kev and Paul are buying into it. So he's the Night King and regains the power of his legs through that. Yep. But he, but he's he's the Raven. He's not the Night King. But uh, we, we were Raven. having a... We had a really good right, well, Game of Thrones. Well, if he is the Night King... Aye. You look so offended by this. <laughs> if he is the Night King, what about the first, what about the first man? Well, he's the he's the night king, the commander of the, the yeah. Night's Watch that got stabbed by the children of the forest because they were trying to yes, save him. but and that's what turned him into the yes, right? Okay, what about him? That's a fair point. Explain explain that to me. Explain it. Succession. So, but that one has been actually shown in the show as well, has it not? Yeah, exactly. But, but he yeah. might have been the first night king. It's still the same fucking well, one. No, yeah, yeah. You, was this in the chat today? I don't so know. This is this is my theory, the though. It could be other night. Games. Yeah, I mean, you, I've been reading a lot the last few days. So I can't remember what. It's not been the stuff. same queen bee in the hive for the last three hundred years. I think when it comes to immortal death soldiers, who probably... can still be killed. So the other thing, then, episode two, of season four, where Ooh. he takes Craster's baby and turns yeah. it, and the very end scene, <coughs> you, what you can see is. Who you assume is the Night King turning the baby with the blue eyes? I don't but recall this. In the background, this. there's another fifteen shadows. Mm-hmm. Just talk about them being sixteen of them. Then no one's ever said anything about them. So maybe there's more than one Night King. Your mind is just looking. No, it's not splattered on the window. No, it's oh, not. Okay. Um, Look in your face. Said otherwise. Sixteen. What's the significance of sixteen then? It's not like there's sixteen know. kingdoms. It's not like because yeah. I presume many, the White many, Walkers many, are going to be closer. How many castles on the wall? I thought it was maybe about 18, but... I've got 16. no clue. Okay, anyway, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh, we're getting deep. Doesn't matter, it's fine, no, carry on. Google, 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 Google. How many castles on the wall? Well, you, we'll, we'll thing is, that, we'll jump ahead. one thing, I, just thinking about the wall there, a comment Paul keeps saying to me is, you can't have a 500 whatever mile long, 100 whatever high wall like that of epic size and not have it come crashing down in epic fashion at some point mm-hmm. during the storyline very end of this season that was probably my favourite fight scene when they had the big fight at the wall yeah 
Yeah. Awesome. When the big arrows like taking the people and sending them off into orbit. <laughs> yeah, that was cool as shit. Yeah, that was cool. So what happened next? Uh, well, we haven't quite finished talking about this bit. So, so Brandroid, Brandroid gets the dagger. Now, this is the dagger that was going to apparently slit his throat in the very first episode. Yes. And he gets it back. And second episode. Baelish. Like the first episode he's seen Jamie and Cersei. Oh, was that the very end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right, so it's episode two. And yeah. Baelish is like, oh, here's the fucking dagger, yo. Mm. And, and, and basically, you're going to owe me a favour, but I'm going to be really nice about it. He's yeah. doing his creepy Baelish stuff that he always does. But... Didn't Bran say something? I took a note actually. Uh, yeah, that made me is think. A ladder. Oh, he said yeah, to Baelish, "Chaos is a ladder." ladder. So what yes. is that? And there was a private was there, conversation there a, yes. between Baelish and Varys. Where this is what Baelish I thought. Baelish had told him, "Chaos is a ladder." No one else. Is Pretty what, sure it was season three. Was it season three? Mm-hmm. I can't remember that. And basically, it was like um, chaos is a ladder, but it was just a quiet conversation between the two of them that no one else could hear. Episode six called "The Climb." That's why they're talking about the ladder. Good lord. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, that's the thing I got from that. I was like, he's talking about something that Baelish said to someone, but I knew you guys would probably know who, who and when. Um, but was it not Baelish that provided the dagger to the... Yes, now I can't remember how he got the dagger. I've got a feeling though that that, that happened Did he not steal it from Tyrion? Point. Because Maybe wasn't that the theory at the time? Lannisters had it at some point. And because Ty- Tyrion was blamed for it and it was considered to be his dagger remember at the um, Wait, the, right the, away when Joffrey got killed no 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 yeah. no when when they were, they wanted when they wanted Tyrion to have his first first fight for his life above the oh, moon the, the moon the, circle the veil the veil yeah right, uh-huh. the moon door the moon door yeah I think that's what they called it moon, yeah, yeah. Um, the reason that he was taken captive by Catelyn was because it was believed that that was his knife that was given oh and he was going to and she knows that that was the dagger that was going to kill Bran and that was the dagger that was used to kill Bran so they're like Tyrion was also it's Tyrion's knife right 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 okay. but it's making more sense then. yeah it wasn't so his Baelish knife got it from there. so Baelish must have got it from him and I think Bran's like why are you giving me the knife that you tried to give to someone to kill me hmm. I, I, that's what I got from it hmm. that it was definitely Baelish that set him up and the thing is Baelish is not privy to the fact that Bran is the all seeing all knowing yeah. whatever you know but Raven think, until that chaos is a ladder comment which was very end so and then he's like, like a, the fuck yeah how do you know about that type thing yeah, yeah. so that first that'll, that'll start him thinking about which means that if our theory that um, Varys and Baelish are playing the Game of Thrones mm. and you said that, or maybe you said it, no, it must be you, you being David, said that Samwell <laughs> is writing the Game of Thrones. Uh huh. Yeah. Then Bran is basically going, I know what you guys are up to. I know how your book finishes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. So I no, thought that whole scene was gave, pretty cool. Nobody gave the cat's paw assassin the dagger. He oh, had really? it already. But Catelyn Stark took it. No, I don't know if no one gave it to him on the show. But you didn't see who gave it to him, but well, it presuming... didn't, didn't say there. But she took it, and then she was told it belonged to Tyrion. By who? And that's why by Littlefinger, and that's ah. why she took Tyrion prisoner when she came right. across him. That's what I was trying to say. My own troubled up way. Excuse me, <laughs> mid yawn. Um, so I thought that scene was really sweet. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. I, I feel, I feel. You know, I used to. I, I, I love Baelish actually. All the way through, he's been. He's a pain in the arse, right? But he's a character you love to hate. And he was featured a lot more in the. He's, he's not featured that much the last couple. I think they don't really know what to do with him, and because they're trying, they know they know they've got the deadline and trying to wrap things up. I feel Littlefinger's just kind of drifting out now. I think he's, he's going to be. I think he's going to be killed off. <sighs> yeah, I think yeah, he his Bran is yeah. going to be his undoing, and Arya yeah. is going to finish him. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I remember the scene when uh, Baelish has got a knife to Ned Stark's throat mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. from season one. Bran must know that, must have seen that. Yes. Yeah. Well, if he's looked for it yet, he's probably not looked for it yet. Oh, right, okay. If that makes sense. But he'll maybe find it, and now that Arya's got the dagger, could that be the dagger? Do, 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 do. That, that would be ironic. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it probably will be. Mm-hmm. Bec- Good work. There we go. He's given the dagger, if, if he just kept it, she, she'll she lose her, she'll lose Needle. Is it called oh, Needle? Oh, I loved how she switched from Needle to the dagger. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. That was nice. In the next, was it the next scene? Uh, nah, no, no, it was, it was about halfway through. Yeah, so, but that scene isn't quite finished because the uh, the chick that's been looking after Bran, Mira, Mira, yes, yeah, yeah, was like, so I'm gonna so leave. So yeah. Um, yeah. Anything to say? She's like, nope. Yeah, bye. Whatever. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> and she's like nearly crying. Like, is that it? Um, anyway, she storms off and off. So, so is that the last we'll see of her? Well, I was about to say because. There is a magazine in the States, I think it's Entertainment Weekly, but I'm not 100% sure. They're is Entertainment like, Weekly still going? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, still going. Definitely still going. How often does it come out? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what they tend to do, they've, they've, they've almost got the exclusive of the exit interview for everyone who gets killed off. She's not had an interview with them. Right. But like, Alaria Sand had an interview with them just mm-hmm. last week. Right. When she was down in the crib, and Larry was like, "Yeah, you're not, you're not seeing me on screen again, basically." So, oh, really? I because no, I thought they would go back to that and show her in a dishevelled mess, looking at you know a carcass at some point. But that's them. Yeah, pa- apparently, yeah, apparently, apparently, um, the, the the lady who played Larry Sand, I don't know her name, has, has said come out of record and said that that is the last time you see me on screen. So now she's definitely filmed all of season seven, so she knows fine if she's not going to be back in. Yeah, that's the last thing she filmed. Wow. That's a bit of a not that she was an, an amazing shitty. character, but it's a bit of a the whole dot the whole dot thing went horribly wrong. You talked about this in either the episode two or three one, I think. Yeah, it was two. That it was after the the battle. I ah, think when we talked two. about the sand. Yeah, 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 ah, yeah great. Yeah, yeah, the sand snakes that no one can, sand so, vipers. So Dorne was meant to be. This was season four. Dorne mm-hmm. was coming in, and it was going to be the big expansion of Game of Thrones. Um, and you know, it was like they went to Spain to shoot. Oh, sorry, five, five. They were going to go to Spain and shoot for it and things like that. Mm. Um, you know, and it, and it went a bit more global and it was beginning bigger and it was huge and whatnot. And it just, it just didn't work very. T- I don't think anyone bought it at all. No, no. one liked it. No one cared about what happened to anybody indoor. It's a waste of Jessica quickly, Hennick. Yeah, <laughs> and I think they very quickly just kind of thought, "Whoa, well, that's just." get rid of this as much as possible out of any future plans. There's meant to be 12 sand vipers, I think it was, and they yeah, condensed they it into three. three. So I think, I think there could have been a lot more, but they mm-hmm. just didn't have the time to develop. They don't have the time, yeah. I mean, if this is a series, if they knew they were going to keep going in, like, seasons 9, 10, 11, whatever, if they were going to fund it long-term and make it long-term, mm-hmm. um, then, yeah, they could have maybe explored that more. But when I th- I've got a feeling they decided round about five or six, they only wanted to do about eight, yeah. They didn't really want to push it much more. Mm-hmm. Um, Weiss and Benoff? Benioff, yeah. Benioff. Sorry. I don't know how you pronounce it, to be uh, honest, but it's got an I in there. So. Yeah, so I think they've they've kind of thought, all right, nah, come on, let's just start tidying this up and whatnot. Uh, um, that's how it feels. It feels like it's starting to Yeah, things, funnel are, things are moving in place. Yeah, yeah. things are... And these little these little side people are kind of like just getting chipped off. Yeah, and what took six episodes in season six now takes half an episode in season seven. Yeah. Travel-wise. Yeah. Yeah, the travel one, but... I don't know. I kind of, feel, I kind of, I want to see people die though. Yeah, it was, it was and that well, used to be the thing about Game of Thrones. Yes, it was the, the that best. was that was also and the theory the, for why the Stannis hand. Baratheon didn't die. Yes, and is still possibly still it's alive still somewhere. Still here, yeah. And, and the, the hound. hound. That's because, how you knew because they didn't. You didn't see yeah, them get such killed. Such a violent yeah. bastard yeah. had to get a violent death. Yep. So when he didn't die and Arya didn't kill him, you knew he was coming back. Mm. You know. So, yeah. so I kind of think that. I wanted to see that old bitch from last week. I wanted to see her get her head chopped off. Elena. Elena yeah, I wanted, I wanted the mountain to come in and just fucking pummel her skull into nothingness. <laughs> I wanted yeah. to see her die. Yeah. And I wanted to, I wanted to see the Sands yeah. die. Yeah. Did, was it you that said that um, <coughs> Elena would go and lie in her bed and she'd wake up three episodes now going, hmm, what did he give me? Damn him. <laughs> Damn you, Jamie Lannister. <laughs> with, with your aspirin. <laughs> yeah. My headache is cleared, <laughs> as has my bank account. Fuck! <laughs> Jumps out the window. Well, maybe, maybe like that's Queen's landing. Oh, maybe that's the ultimate joke. Yeah. She's out. She's out of it for like three episodes. Wakes up, no kingdom, no money, no subjects, no nothing, and she's an old frail woman with nothing around her she, to protect her. It's like the very finale, right? And then you get the end credits, and you get this scene where she just wakes up on her bench, like I'm not dead. I have no money. What a and then it cuts out. <laughs> Honestly, if you'd said that joke when we were watching season six, I'd believe that's how they were going to try and end yeah. it. Yeah. That's how bad season six was. So what happened next? Right, so so Mina's away. Um, she may come back. Um, so Ari arrives in the Winterfell. 
Yes. And we have this lovely joke off with the, the, the guard. So just, just like, fuck, fuck off. off. <laughs> Piss off, you. Funnily enough, right, and I can't be 100% sure because the guy's got a helmet and a beard and all this kind of stuff, but I feel like I worked with the, the chubby guy with the tash. Yeah, cool. Or as an extra on another show. Ah, oh, cool. Because I was looking at him, I was like, I fucking recognise you. And when he started speaking, I was like, that's not the fat boy from The Thing, is it? <laughs> nah. Never seen The Thing. Very it's good. code words, man. It's code word. I can't say uh, what it is because like you're, you're, you're not meant to say it until it airs. Is this, uh, yeah. Yeah, is this, uh, this NDA rubbish. Uh, okay. So, but I, I was thinking, <laughs> oh, I totally think it is him. Because he had the same sort of intonation, the same sort of banter, and it's one of those guys that just stood out. Mm-hmm. Like, there was a massive battle scene on this particular show I was working on, and there was maybe a hundred or maybe two hundred of us. I don't know. There was lots of us. But he, he was one of the ones that stuck out, and I'm like... Mm. I reckon it was. I reckon yeah, he was the guard. The same one. And for me, I'm just going to pretend that he is and that yeah. he's doing pretty well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But anyway, sorry. Continue on. No, no, no. Because yeah, because actually, I mean, yeah, it was nice to see her there. And then she met Sansa on the crypt. But it was a bit like. What do you think, Dave? Like, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? You okay? It's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, you enjoyed it in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it tastes nice. I don't know what the filling is, but it's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Eating during the podcast. <laughs> I missed my tea. Yeah, so Arya meets uh, Arya meets Sansa in the crypt. Sansa was looking hot, wasn't she? Uh, uh, she's kind of upped her game in the last uh, season. She's looking Have really you nice. That everyone's gone black in season yes. seven. Yes, like the kings. Uh, the, the, the kings, kings, kings are like, "What up, dog?" <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Right, alienating yet more listeners. <laughs> Fuck sakes, you racist. <laughs> Um, so uh, no, eh? no, the colours. How speak. much of a fucking left wing socialist <laughs> fucking pussy are you? <laughs> It's just black culture. White culture would be tea, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but one's racist and one's funny, right? Aye. Yeah, because... Got that right, dog? Because... Because the leftist, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, where was that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Colour scheme. Like, yeah, so all fell. the king's guards have got, like, black armour now. They used to be gold. gold and silver. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Cersei's all black and the mountain's, like, black death zombie. Winter's thing. coming. Kyber That's how you stand out yeah. against the snow. Oh, that makes so much sense. Yeah. Everyone is wearing black. You are correct. Yeah. And yeah, because everyone up north is wearing black. Um, That's how you... Everyone, everyone, they've everyone, always everyone worn black, though. Black. Night's Watch have always worn black because they are right up against the winter. Mm-hmm. They are in the snow. Yeah. What colour contrasts against white most? Mm-hmm. I just made this up. Ter- well, it's a fucking... Ter- like, terrible terrible choice for military wear, you know, in terms of... Oh, going into nighttime. battle, let's let's make sure we wear the opposite colour of our surroundings. Black. Yeah. <laughs> Not that we'd be okay to keep white white up there, but, but you know. <laughs> I know what you mean. And then, um, yeah, so Sansa was looking fine. And the hair. Arya blatantly on. thinks that Sansa's a fucking dick. Yeah, I think she's she's a bit suspect. She thinks she's changed. Yeah, and Sansa's... Like, we know she's changed. Sansa's like, does Arya know? Does... does What's this list? Ha ha ha, killing people, that's silliness. <laughs> huh. And then she sees her fight, and it's like, holy she shit, can she kill might people. actually have done this. She yeah. stood up against Brienne of Tarth. I've got new quite, there. Quite new easily. Leader. Yeah, <laughs> there was an even match. It was. Considering how well she's overpowered just about everybody that mm-hmm. she's fought so far. And Jamie, yeah, Jamie, Brienne actually, is Jamie probably the holding person. back. Well, true, yeah. Possibly. Except when she started to get pissed off and she hoofed her in the chest. That was brilliant. But then the way that yeah. the way that Arya came up, like ah, mm. like a fucking scorpion or something, yeah. ready to go. Yeah. And then, yeah. like I say, she switched from needle to the dagger, and it was just like yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, they they would have both killed each other in that moment if that if they were yeah if they were going for it there. But I I still double think, KO double KO. I still think that. Um, <laughs> That Brienne would 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 fail her properly if they were actually if happy. they were actually going for it. Yeah, maybe. So just she's just too too large, too powerful. But I mean, then the speed thing is yeah, an interesting factor. Is, yeah, yeah. And, and got, it's not just speed; it's speed and skill. Yeah, you know, it's because Arya has learned she's very skillful now. So it'll be good like to see her in a war. She knows and she's been people down in minimum effort. She's been beat it'll big time down a lot. We've, we've wrecked her. When do you think that, um, like? As much as Brienne is a good fighter, how much uh, intestinal fortitude has she got? How much can she take a beating? I think she can because she's taking a good mental. Oh, she... actually, you're good. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. She, she got. Yeah. She gets that was uncomfortable to watch. That, that, that was borderline. Yeah, I was like almost like proper watching. That made me feel very sexist. 
Does that make you feel empowered? No. No, I felt like I don't like seeing... I was like, I don't want to no. see this woman get beat up so badly. Yeah. Yeah. And then I realised, well, that's really sexist of me. You know, she's equal to a Shame man on you, and all Game this kind of, of stuff. for so, making me feel like that. So she should be beat up correctly. And then I was like, but then other people would disagree because that would make me... And then I had to stop. Because <laughs> you've lost yourself in your own mind. Yes, I just went away and I was like, so what... what Existential crisis. Am I sexist or am I... Pro- I, don't I don't know anymore. I am should I stop even, touching myself I while I think alive? about this. <laughs> am I one with the Matrix? <laughs> Has it happened yet? <laughs> it's not happened. It's not happened. We're okay. But that was... I think we've maybe skipped one scene there. Uh, just a little bit, yeah. So, so after the Sands and the Crypt, um, they then... Aria met Bran at the tree. Um, not much happened, but it was yet again confirmation that he can see everything because he was talking about Arya's list. Yes. About the fact that she was at the crossroads that she should, should have gone to King's Landing. And Santa's like, why would you have gone to King's Landing? And Bran droids like, because Cersei's there and he's on the list or something like mm-hmm. that. You know? And then that makes Santa yet again think like, right, both my siblings are now fucked up. I have no idea yeah, one of them. One of them's a fucking psychic, and one of them is badass murderer. And what am I? I just got raped a whole did, bunch. Did you see the the meme, which is like they've become the X Men? No. You see Sansa, and you see Harden no, Phoenix. No. You see Bran. You see <laughs> Professor X in the wheelchair. <laughs> you see Jon Snow. You see Logan. Uh-huh. And then you see Arya with her half blue face from the posters for the oh. promo and Mystique underneath oh, the, the assassin yeah. <laughs> that oh, can look like cool. anyone oh, that's pretty that cool it's cool. clever it's funny that is very clever <laughs> they become the X-Men I was quite impressed yeah, that they made Bran a wheelchair the oh. first ever wheelchair probably yeah and from the ye olde times it's I don't know take his cart and just snap it in half up the way there you go that's what it looked like they basically uh, just yeah. <laughs> let us refashion this cart yes. so you can sit upright <laughs> go and sit in your bed for a while yeah. I, will, I will start this like ding, 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 ta-da. I was quite impressed with his little his little run around and I really like that that set you know the, the, the white tree, the tree. Tree. Yeah. yeah it's really nice yeah yeah, yeah, they've had a couple, of, a lot of really good scenes up there. Actually, it went well. Did you notice that in the beginning credit? You know, they, they have their beginning credits. So I always sit and watch them. I, I zip through them because it's so late when I watch. Yeah, but I'll give you a chance to do your song again. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, so so what I what I look for is the the name of who's in it. So then I know who, what scenes are going to be shown and what not. So uh-huh. like this week, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at you it. want to know like, where the no scenes Rory McCann. I was like, fuck sake. So you know where um, a way of knowing where the scenes are going to be. The opening credits for every episode goes to each location you visit in the order they're first visited. Yeah, I, I, I heard that somewhere. Same. I wasn't sure if that was still I thought the... it was the same Is order that... every time. I heard I... that somewhere. Yeah, no, that's, that's been mentioned before. I zipped through the credits I so I can't confirm when it. When bring in new things... I don't remember the names of things, so I don't yeah. know. I, well, so apparently, I it visits mm, each place. Okay, okay I'm, 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 I might look into that one now. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's accurate. And like, you don't mm. ever go to... Cal Drogo land anymore. No, they changed it since that got phased out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, also, so all they do change the positions based on <clears throat> what cities are showing, but I don't think they change the same order from like one episode to the second. I've heard like, that. Like, but, really? Wow. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, like, like first, so one week King's Landing will be first on the list, and then the next week it might be the third thing. Yeah. I thought they always go up to the wall. It's the same order before they then sweep over. Well, apparently it's. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it's panel, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Well, maybe in the first season they had a formula of go here, 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 and then mm, the mm, wall. Mm. <clears throat> I watched the. I didn't. I didn't start. I was like you. I was a late starter to Game of Thrones. I didn't start till season four. Yeah, I, was I watched the, same. the very first episode of season four. Thought, oh, I like this because that was the one where the hounds like you don't shut your cunt mouth up. I like every it. chicken in his room or whatever he says. I was just like. What is this all about? Right, I'm going to have to check this out. And Damn it, I, he I makes went, it to season four. <laughs> Spoiler. No, I didn't care. Went back to season one and binge watched the first three seasons and caught up about halfway through season four. I just went nuts at it. So I got the first four seasons back to back really, really quick. And then I had to wait for everything like everything else, which was annoying. Yeah. Well, I watched it from the start. My friend showed me at the start. And we kind of used to sit and talk about Game of Thrones, like, first, like, episode yeah. one or two. Like, we literally watched a couple of them. Yeah. The start he was like you got to watch this and I was totally down for it and we used to sit and do this and, and, yeah. and that was mentioned that they, they travel uh-huh. at one of our one of our chats but we've not spoken about it since uh, season five mm. like do you feel do you feel like like yes I was one of the first I don't give a fuck 
Clean up last time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> in all honesty, <laughs> season six really fuck it. Season five kind of made me a bit tired, and season six really sapped any love I had for the show. Ooh, so okay. I'm as season four. Season four is my was my favorite. Actually. I can't remember what happened. Well, season four had the uh, Mountain and the Viper. I mean, oh yeah, that yeah. was pretty sweet. Yeah, I, I just that and, whole season uh, was really yeah. Cool. Actually, Battle of Castle uh, Black. Uh, or was that season three? I like basically once it. once Ty. Oh, you need to go for pee again. What? It's only, it's only uh, been forty uh, minutes. Holy shit! Uh, uh, once Ty went went, it seemed yeah. to be that I lost interest. Well, I had the tri- I had the uh, Tyrion's trial was season four. Yep, which I loved that bit. Yeah, I was uh, so fucking uh, shit in it. Yeah. And then it had um, Jamie breaking the mic. That was all season four as well. Yeah, yeah it was all season four. Yeah, yeah. season four season was good. Four was season five from season five, I've been like, nah. Yeah, season five, hard home. That was rather than six, wasn't it? The Battle of the Wall was that the very end of season four? I think so as well. Yeah, season four, right? Huh? So there's loads of cool stuff happening yeah, in season, season four. Was really good. Season so five. I, can, like, I don't remember what happened in season five. Season five, Daenerys well, was just sure fucking Dorn, about. Dorn came in there. Yeah. Dorn was already in and out by then. Was it? Dorn came in oh, season yeah. four. He would have had oh, to because the Viper it? would have fought. No, because so, remember he came to King, the very first episode of season four was him and Elaria coming to King's Landing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So season four, he yeah, died. But no, no, sorry. So season five, they went to Dorn. Oh right, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. yeah the Dornish king and queen yes, came into they, season they were, four. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. And I was kind of like, "Fuck are you?" Aye. You know, I don't care about you guys. Like, yeah, you killed my brother, and, uh, rah, and they're like, "When?" Children. For this, you must die. Yeah, yeah, I didn't really give a fuck about them, no but I kind of, I kind of thought the guy was kind of cool, mm-hmm. um, and I kind of. Hardhome season five, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. What's Hardhome? The battle with the Night's King, where he raises up all the all the wild. Oh yeah, that that was right. that that made me go. Oh, yeah, season yeah. five's picking up. Yeah, picking yeah. Up. yeah. But, but that was about the highlight of it, and not much else really happened. You feel almost. I don't know. I, I think I maybe know. because I've been but watching for seven years. Yeah. Like I've been like, oh come on already. Just uh, Let's get to it. So for me, I'm kind of like. So are you liking the fact that the pace of this season really picked up then? Yeah, but I don't. I don't. Um, I don't. Love Game of Thrones like I did, mm. but I don't even love it. I just mm. like it right now. Speaking of picking up the pace, where were we? Well, you so, were going for another piss break. Yeah, no, nope, <laughs> I've done it. I've been while y'all rambled. So, Brandroid and Arya were chatting at the tree. Then we went to. Well, we see uh, a scene. Dragonstone. We see this. We see this scene, obviously, with the three of them together for the first time. Oh, we're there right now. Yeah, this is true. Actually, this yeah, is the first since, time. Uh, season one. And you're like, if only Jon Snow was here, yeah, then you'd have the all main. the ones that are alive. Yeah. Because who was the well, one that got Rickon's shot? Rickon's still alive, is he not? Hmm? Rickon, Rickon got killed Rickon by... Rickon got killed by... Oh, did he die? Yeah. Okay. By um, Sam R- Ramsey. Ramsey. Remember, he fired the arrow and Rickon should have just zigzagged. He yes. actually tweeted that. Okay. He tweeted that after yes. that episode. He's like, something, yes. um, something, something, hashtag should have zigzagged. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, right enough. Sorry, yes, he's dead. Actually, there's only the four remaining, or three Starks and... and uh, Jon Snow. Um, so then we went to. Yeah, I was waiting for that. I know. So then we went to Dragonstone. This is that's exactly what I'm just showing so them. Had... Saying, There's one more <laughs> no, ancient no. card you need it. to see. Yeah. And then she looks up, and it's a one drawn by Jon Snow of him pumping her from behind. <laughs> I honestly thought he was going to lead her at the end there when he when came he grabs her. I was like, he's going to. They're going to fuck. They're going to do it. Yeah. He's actually going I, to fuck. I, I, right up the dragon ass. But I'm John convinced. was too much of a fucking pussy to take charge of that woman. Yeah, I still eat. think that'll happen though, because they played that scene that that was that was really obvious in that scene when they're going through the caves that Danny was doing the flurry eye rubbish all the way through it. Irritated me. The flurry eye rubbish. That's an, that thing that before we got married, the thing that girls used Bef- to do. What, to I I haven't married you. <laughs> Hang on, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> you you no. said before we got married. <laughs> I'm, right, I'm really confused. So you guys are married. Oh. So why do you turn up? So. Why do you turn up at different times? To throw you off the scent. Yes. I don't care. Shattering the Plus, I've got to get all the jizz out my asshole before I turn up. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh my! God bless yeah. white wipes. And it would be that way. Wow. Could... Uh, where was I? Right. So, <laughs> so Denise is coming down oh. the steps, talking to Miss Sandy. And this is Miss Andy then showing a bit of uh, concern. Well, the, the, girl, the girls are both like, for, but who's not What back? did you do last night? Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that was last week. Many things. That was last week. Many things. That was last week. No, no, many the things. two girls had a chat and That's they were all they giggly. Were about the step. They were talking about No, because on the way down this time, she was talking about how she missed them. She. The they, many I things. Just watched that 
Oh man, no, I man. just watched it like four hours ago. Many things, many things. Yeah, many things was this week. All right, episode okay, four. okay. They were chatting in episode three as well, but episode four was the many things. Now, for some reason, I was drawn to Miss Sandy's thighs. I'm drawing anything. So was I actually. Oh. They were shiny. Yeah, they were right. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to see if anyone else was. No, I was drawn. actually. I, I, I was yeah, like. Yeah. Thighs are looking awfully good. Yeah, I, I did notice that actually. Oh, huh, okay, I'm not the only one. Great. <laughs> I'm a thigh guy. See, I, see, I told you. I'm going to get more smeagly as we go on. Come tree with <laughs> Alpha Fitness. <laughs> <laughs> Remove your smeagleness. <laughs> Remove your smeagleness today. <laughs> Learn to form real sentences. <laughs> I can't even do it. Eyes straining from computer oh, work. Really? Do you find yourself getting more smeagly? <laughs> Come to Alpha Fitness today. <laughs> and make sure to outtrain the smeagol in you. Yes, master. And use the code word PRECIOUS for <laughs> discount. Of 20% in August. I wonder if we can do this every week. <laughs> what, change it? No, be smeagol every week. Be smeagol. And if you're hot, we could be lord of your ring. <laughs> Oh, dude. I'd like to say that was said by someone that's not an actual representative or employee of Alpha Fitness. Um, what a creep. He's employed by a large corporation, and um, that's what happens when you do We that get away with shit like that in large yeah. corporations. Because we got lawyers, yo. <laughs> and apparently, you live in the 80s as well. Sugar tits! <laughs> <laughs> just rub my moustache <laughs> no maybe a copy of this give me a cup of coffee <laughs> genuine sugar tits would be pretty awesome though eh? just like getting stuck in more about the mountain of sugar I'm, I'm gonna make a, I'm, yeah what is going on I don't know I do not know someone's so, also had too to, much back to not enough sugar tits Daenerys and Missandei <laughs> back to Daenerys and Missandei and this is Missandei showing thighs uh, you, 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 you know his thighs <laughs> I was I was looking more at her genuine concern. <coughs> poor Grey Worm. She doesn't know where he's gone. Not Grey Wolf. Wolf. Grey Worm. <laughs> Who's Grey Wolf then? There's no Grey it's Worm. It's ironic that he's called Grey Worm when he hasn't got a Grey Worm. He hasn't got a worm, yeah. <laughs> well, did did you see that Daenerys got all like 16 year old schoolgirl yeah. excited yeah, yeah, at this? Yeah, yeah. And I was kind of like, oh, what's happening with you and Grey Worm? Like, eh? I was like, oh, that, do I like Ooh, this? We scissored. Do I like this or not? Because <laughs> I don't generally like Danny now because she's an arsehole. Yeah. But, but that was like, that was just, it was putting a bit more of, um, she's gone down a dark path almost. But she's, she's going a little, 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 gl- little glimmer of the Mad King. Mm, yeah. Who she maybe used to be in yeah. season two, season, uh, like, like when she was talking with other handmaids, and, and, and yeah, and nice, and like version. Roxanne McKee. Mm. And she's kind of like, so, but he's not got a dick. So how does that work, Miss Sandy? <laughs> <laughs> and then fucking Jon Snow. Yeah, because then they go into the cave. Turns up, and then he's showing showing her the dragon glass. Um, which I, I couldn't make that out very well. I couldn't see it, it very just well the either. Black stuff. I it was more the, the more the paint and the more the. Carbons, yeah, and the carvings. Sure. The carvings was the point. Wasn't yeah. the carving of the Night King extremely intricate with blue eyes, yeah. like a little bit too good? Yeah, they they keep like you, it was like you. That's the fucking it. Night King. Like yeah. you can. So here's here's a man shape. It. Here is a, like a fucking tree here is shape. Here's a little tiny kid. Here's their circles and checks this one that they spent like five hours doing. Fucking sharpened their twigs yeah, to get oh, the detail. And, everything, and painted them all yeah. in with the proper, you know, skeletal bone structure yeah. and everything. Yeah. It was a little bit. <laughs> the long wispy hair. Too nicely done. <laughs> oh, very. It was very nice. in the face. In the face. Yeah, yeah. It could have been a little bit more rudimentary. Yeah. I kind of feel like. I think a, a person if, with crosses for eyes would have probably done the trick. See if Danny had said, Did you draw these? That would have been fucking hilarious. <laughs> that would have been good. That, he's that like, would have been my thought. I'd be like, you fucking did this. Where were you last night? You know? I, I was here two days ago, Jon Snow, <laughs> and these weren't here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I've been rumbled. <laughs> and also... I'm a shit. Geordie. He's a Geordie, apparently. That's the onion, Why, I'm on. Aye, Sir Davos. Sir Davos, he's got a very kind of Geordie-ish accent. Yeah, I suppose he does, yeah. He's a Geordie. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, you were looking at a good heart. I can't do it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, so they, they did them. that, and <laughs> then then it was back to Winterfell for Arya. Get a Davos Fremont. thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Which looks like two fist people. <laughs> so it looks like a fist bump, really. Yeah. Oh dear God. 
Okay, anyone that's not got a thumb is going to be unsubscribing. <laughs> well, they would, but they can't press the button. Oh! <laughs> he's a heel! So you can't say anything about anyone. No. Because no, everyone's right. everyone's going to get yeah. fucking butthurt. Yeah. So it's either say nothing about nothing and let's or not just, talk again, or, everyone, or yeah. everyone should take it on the fucking chin, yeah. like South Park. Yeah, suck it up, get on with it. Exactly. Yeah. And that's the sort of life I pr- subscribe to. <laughs> but suck it up and get on with it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're not one hand <laughs> and a glass of wine in the other. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How you doing, Cassie? Anyway. <laughs> um, so then we're back to Winterfell where Arya fights me. He's away. What? No, Arya fights Brienne. Brienne? Brienne. Brienne. Brienne of Tarth. I don't know. Yes, and Sansa seemed to be jealous. I yeah, don't know what she was thinking. They hung around and, and the two of them just looked almost with disdain. Right. Like, what you the know, fuck? Like, what the fuck is going on here? What the She's fuck? probably feeling like the left out Stark. Like, now, and that's a good minor, start. Minor fan point. theory on that. Mm-hmm. Somebody picked back at something that was said in season, I want to say four or five, I'm not too sure which, where uh, Sansa would be told she'd be protected by no one. Right, okay. Arya is no one. Ah, yeah. who taught you to fight like that? No one, no one. Yeah, that was very clever. <laughs> um, oh yeah, it was, a, it was a hark back to something that was said before that's, as well. That's true. And then we go back. Do you think? To, no? Do you think Arya being the smallest, youngest, weakest person originally at the start of the show, like the lowest person on the totem pole in many ways, mm-hmm. even though she wasn't, she was a, a princess, a mm-hmm. princess, a lady. Um, Lady of Nobility could could be the person to sit on the throne in the end, because nah. Lord of Heart is sitting. The throne. She's not interested in that. John, How does it work? John and Sansa have to go. She has to be the last, the eldest remaining, like Lyanna Mormont. Lyanna, mm-hmm. yeah. Lyanna. But it's very likely that Sansa's going to die by because she's a heel, and it's very likely that Jon Snow yeah. will die maybe a saving death. a so noble death, death saving death. Daenerys. Because yeah. the thing is. He's already died, mm-hmm. so he he's got to die. Yeah, he can't. I think, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think you don't get to right come now. back from the dead and then get to like ride off into the sunset. You've got yeah. to die. I think Jamie's dying. I think Cersei's dying. How should we? Uh, okay, we're not we're not there yet. We're not we're, there yet. We need to get there. Yeah, sorry, right, okay. <laughs> and then um, yeah, no, then suck we're back, a dick. We're back to Dragonstone. Reek Reek arrives. Oh yeah, on his boat. I was like. Theory. Snow's gonna smash him. Yeah, yeah I, saw I, thought I, was waiting for. I thought he might even just. I thought he might have whamped him. Just, just kill him. Just kill him. I don't think he was gonna him. kill him. I thought he was just gonna beat shit out of him for yeah. a bit. And his men wouldn't have done anything. No, we just, just looked at him and walked him. away. They didn't give a shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and then, and then and then he says, "I'm here to see the queen and John." And is it John? Who says that she's not here? Yeah. Oh, we've skipped a bit then. He skipped, skipped when John threatens him. No, 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 we've skipped a major bit. Right, come on in. Back when on. Daenerys and John leave the cave after they sneakily fucked. <laughs> right? The bit that wasn't shown. The bit that wasn't shown. <laughs> that, like that bit that you showed me, yeah. that you showed us, that you'll post later. Mm-hmm. Is this, wait a minute, did you splice your Game of Thrones with one of those VHSs and then go back to Game of Thrones? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> A little bit. It turns out putting on stickers of their faces on the actual tape ribbon doesn't do the job. No. Is it still Jenny Jameson and Peter North? No, it was uh, Ben Dover and... <laughs> oh, was it like Skanky Br- Ben skanky Dover Br- and Br- Br- oh, <laughs> ra- Random Rent-A-Slag oh, yeah. from, from 1999. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> like the kind of porn that you need to wash after you're, you're like, kind of like, like clean now, just watching they've this. actually he's actually got a gimmick name like a fucking wrestler like what is this what you gonna do just just get some fucking perversions oh well he had a porn movie that I've never watched actually are we allowed actually. to talk about it what we might end up having to give him more money I don't know why we would be why we're not allowed to talk about it. The fact that Hulk Hogan's got a bigger dick than Terry Bollea. Yeah, that's brilliant. <laughs> oh no, no, we can talk about it because I watched a documentary on Netflix. And I can't remember the name of it now, but it was about the Gawker case. Yes, I've, it's I've brilliant. I want to watch it. Oh, it's good. Yeah, yeah, I watched it. I watched it. I want to say about a month ago. You watched it on the day it came out, I think. Or yeah, it was pretty close. Yeah. Day or day after. Yeah. Kerry likes documentaries, but when I say it's about Hulk Hogan, she's going to be like, "No, I'm not watching." Well, just it. say it's about Terry Bollea, a celebrity who was shamed by a. Uh, oh, good like, shout! Yeah. That's like Deadpool Some advertised as a Valentine's it. movie. Yes. I got her with that, by it's, the way. It's all about the marketing. Oh, amazing. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, right, sorry. Okay, okay, sorry. So the part you missed out right, is the we'll fact that um, John, and John and Danny are exiting the cave. You got into our John and Danny. And v- <laughs> shut up, you. <laughs> you keep saying for me to move on, but you keep making the jokes that distract me. Eat your thing, that'll shut Just you up. Keep pie. eating. And sh- <laughs> Said John. <Yeah. laughs> Eat your pie. <laughs> Everyone else knows where I'm trying to get to. This, they're, they're, I'm so confused now. I did, I did, John I and Daenerys to... leave the cave oh. and Varys and Tyrion are standing there and they're like, so um, we took... Oh, we took Highgarden. Highgarden. But we're in the That's ship. great, yeah. isn't it? No. Um, because, well, yeah, no. <laughs> and Daenerys has a massive tantrum and is like, right, the fuck, I'm going to go fucking yeah. kill everyone. Uh, it was Cast of the Rock. Uh, Cast of the Rock, sorry. Yeah, Cast oh, whatever the fuck, yes. names, semantics. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, she gets all pissy and then says to John, what am I meant to do? And I was kind of thinking, Snow was going to say, well, I think you need to go and do something <coughs> aggressive, you know? And Come then he was like, he, doesn't, he goes like, nah, man. Nah, be don't, a pussy. Don't, don't go burn everything down because then you'll be like your dad and all that, blah, 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 blah. And she goes, I know, I'll go burn everything down and be like my dad. Yeah. <laughs> We're not there yet, though. <laughs> <laughs> We're there, dude. We're almost there. We're almost there. And that, that was the bit we missed out. And I kind of thought that Jon Snow had convinced her not to go. But did she give Tyrion a dressing down or what, eh? Mm-hmm. Tyrion's kind of like, oh, uh, 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 my intelligence was maybe, uh, uh, maybe I, fu- uh, oh, oh, I fucked I'm up. I'm so yeah. sorry, my queen. Varys got to say hee-haw. Mm. As it should be. Do you buy into the, you buy into the theory that, that Tyrion's secretly kind of circumventing Danny's plan to take over? I, no. No, I, no. No, no. I think... I don't want it to be true. I just, I can get why people would think of mm-hmm. it. Nah. Yeah. Nah, I don't buy that at all. Just you never know. Game. He could be the ultimate game player and he could be the one sitting on the throne at the end. I don't... But I think he's been in too much danger yeah. too often to be the ultimate game player. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think if he was to turn heel... They would just take a field goal and hoof him into the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Off the cliff. <laughs> it's like that little video. The, 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 there's like the midget um, wrestler in the... Um, uh, Mexican mask right. and he's got like a gorilla suit on or something and someone t- runs and like drop kicks him under the thing and he flies backwards and knocks <laughs> El Toro out of El Torito sorry Probably, I think his name yeah. is You're, you'll know what it is as soon as you see he was in WWE yeah it was, it was the cool proper stuff midget. tiny little guy tiny little guy he was and dressed as like a bull like, yeah he slides over slides out the ring and double kicks him and this boy flies it backwards but he actually flipped upside down it was amazing it's one of the best things I've ever seen <laughs> Absolutely cleans them out. Yeah, so well, that that could be Tyrion's feet. <laughs> oh dear. Well, we've got another one we know we can send him to make uh, him laugh. No. <laughs> it's not happening at work. He falls off the sea and then a hippo's yawn and he just disappears in his mouth. Eh? <laughs> John and the whale. <laughs> then you just hear the hippo closes his mouth, you just hear, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, How'd Don't you get me. here? Oh no, not to my <laughs> I drink and I know things. I drink and it, that's that's a sweet t shirt if I've ever heard one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I think we're yeah. getting to the point that where yeah, everyone really wants to talk about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're uh, we're Oh something happened, eh? Hmm. Bron goes, Can you hear that? And everyone else goes, Fuck off. What are you on about? Well, I'm you like, like You're two pages oh, ahead yeah. on the script. Go and calm down. <laughs> I'm listening like I can't hear I'm shit listening. but this is when he makes the dick on joke and he fucking laughs oh, his ass off that, that was brilliant uh, he's like <laughs> Bronn is the only character Bronn or Tyrion are the only characters who would have got away with yeah they're the only ones that can do like straight up like kind of break the fourth wall comedy Childish type humor. stuff yeah. 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 yeah because it's the, it's their sort of mentality yeah. in a way Bronn laughs at whatever you know he does I love him yeah it's like they're, they're kind of so Bronn of House Rain mm. You never read the theory. No. That no, he, what? no. He's, uh, where, he's, where will we well, we'll do the theory at the end. Right, okay. Right? So, Bronn's like, can you hear that? And I'm like, no. I can't hear anything. I can't hear fucking shit. And then you start hearing the horses. And then you hear the... <laughs> well, I thought... I was listening out for a... <sighs> oh, you're right, okay. Fine. I was just listening out for a dragon straight away. And I was like, nah. Nah. And then I heard the horses. Yeah. And the battle cry. And I'm like, oh, look. Right, so the like budget Dathraki... They, they don't look. Yeah, I know they don't look. They don't look like they, they looked in the first season. Yeah. No, they're not as. They're not as uh, wild looking. Uh, yeah. They just kind of look like. They look like. Dudes with basically, they just got a whole bunch of Asian dudes together, <laughs> and throw them in some like 
crappy garbs and yeah. that's it. But <laughs> in the first season, they looked like they were from another land. Fucking warriors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just, like barbarians almost, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was, it, I think they look cheap in this one. They don't look scary. They don't look scary now. And I thought they looked scary before. Yeah. With Intimidate. I mean, maybe that's just because Cal uh, Drogo looks like such a fucking yeah. badass. <laughs> you know? Um, badass. Mm-hmm. But when they come rushing out, I'm thinking, they have no armor, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So... They're hmm. just going to bounce them. off the wall. Yeah, basically this the wall of shields and spears. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, I admittedly, right, a spear can only go into one Dothraki, and the next one can get past mm-hmm. it. But then there'd be more spears and things like that. So, <laughs> and the spears going into the horses and the whole thing as well, you know. Mm-hmm. So I was kind of thinking maybe the infantry have a reasonable tr- chance here, you know. <laughs> and then they're all going up here. <sighs> yeah, and you're like, oh. You just see Danny, and she goes. Dracarys and just melts yeah. the first like you know 20 of them or and something. you're like oh splurge, <gasps> splurge. <Yeah. laughs> splurge. I've waited 7 seasons for this 7 oh, fucking years it was just I, glorious no more sheep grilling for the dragons exactly oh, yeah. I first started watching this when I started my business mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's how long ago it was there you go then eh? what business was that that would be Alpha Fitness ah right we've heard of them before haven't <laughs> yes, we yes we have I think we plugged them earlier yeah we did <laughs> <laughs> can never do it too many times <laughs> never never it means to do twice the money this time <laughs> uh, is it <laughs> okay Your there time. you go yeah, yeah. Oh, cheers dude <laughs> sent in anyway so yeah so the, the whole battle, time the whole battle it was just it was just brilliant the whole time I'm thinking Right, what time have we got? We've got about 10 minutes of battle. Mm. Shit, that's awfully long for a battle. Mm. And they're saving money for the bigger battles later on, so that means that someone's going to die and we're going to get a death scene. And I'm like, fuck, Jamie or Jerome? Jamie (laughs) or Jerome? Well, the the thing is, it was the same as two episodes ago where it was Euron, Yara or Theon, and Mm -hmm. you're like, fuck, one of them's going to die. One of them's going to die, yeah. You know? None of them dead. <laughs> None of them dead. And then this time, I was the same. I was like, shit, yeah, Bronn's going. Be? Bronn is going. Yeah. Well, Jamie's that, story's not over. That's what I kind of Money thought. Bronn. I thought, probably going to be Bronn because they kind of focused on him at the start. Yeah. He's not been around for a while. I thought Old Man Tarly might have been offed. Mm. But he, he didn't even, I didn't see I don't him. No, I don't even know I if he was see there. Him, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was there. He was, I, chat, he was chatting with, was he not chatting with Dickon and Jamie and that? Like yeah, he was just, not just long before. Well, he actually appears when when Jamie says um, spears and shields. Ah, he he's, yeah, he he's, rides past and shouts as well. Yeah, 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 uh, so he was yeah, there. So he's there, but you didn't see him for the rest of that battle. So. No, you don't know what happened to him. No, it's but it seems like Dickon is actually pretty hard. Oh god! Do you not find that? <laughs> <laughs> he's a hard Dickon. Um, did you not think that Dickon? Do you remember? Pretty him? handsome as well. Just. Going to throw that you out remember there. the the Mario film with Bob Hoskins? <laughs> yeah, Mario, Mario, and Luigi Mario. That's the one, yeah. So Luigi, Luigi, no, I'm Luigi Mario. Do you not think that Dickon looked like a Goomba with the shape of him? Where he was like fucking massive, but he had this tiny head on top of the arm. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he really I think did. I vaguely know what you're goom, about, yeah. I like a goom goom. Goom goom. Like a like a goom goom. Dinosaur. On a million years ago. Oh. I have no idea what you're going on about. Oh, you've not seen get on the floor and ready what the dinosaur you've not seen we're definitely <sighs> yeah, not getting on YouTube it, now when I was a kid like when it first came out I've seen it I I've watched it like it since. a year or a year and a half ago I it watched that about 25 years ago I've not seen it since it first it's came awfully out. amazing oh like like so bad it's like, good so, it's, yeah. it's oh, well, maybe I'm not and you're like none it. of this makes any sense who who how did they even think and the, the thing is it ends like there's going to be a second one and you're like I'm fucking pumped for this <laughs> I'm still waiting. How <laughs> <laughs> long is sequel waiting history? No, probably not. Actually, <laughs> I think Blade Runner's already beat oh, well, yeah. it. It would, it would need to wait another like seven years before uh, it would go. Anyway, so yeah, the, the battle scene is just fucking epic as shit. Yeah. And, and it just keeps going, and there's just more dragon death after dragon death. More fire. Death. It's that bit where. He, where um, not the first one where he comes in forward and then like just mm-hmm. takes it like when he comes off and he's going along the. The carts. And he just takes all the money. All the the loot. That's food and supplies. The money's gone. Oh, the money's already in? The money's in King's Landing. The the money's in King's Landing, yep. Um, Also, Cersei's paid it off. Carly says that 
Tarly confirms Bron, that was it to, Tarly or Bron? I thought it was Tarly. Oh, maybe Tarly. I thought he was just saying um, some of the money was in when he needed anyway, to get the rest so of it. Whoever it is to Jamie says at that just before the Dothraki yeah, appear. Tarly says it. Dennis, yeah, says um, all the gold safely secured in King's Landing. <clears throat> so they were talking about then having to ho- um, get all the, all the supplies and, and yeah, the supply chain and whatnot because the slaves or whatever. And then suddenly they're like, oh, no need to get the guys there anymore. We'll just leave them here. Let's go. <laughs> I was toasty. It was, it was glorious. The whole time I was worried about Braun and Jamie. Mm. Bra- mm-hmm. I was Braun. worried about Drogon. The internet, the internet kicked off about this episode. The only time I've seen the internet kick off as much, but on, in my world anyway, was the mountain in the bike. I knew you were crushing it because that was just. That's been the last, you know, like. But, um, oh my god! Have you just seen that? And then. This, yeah, this, this was the first time in a while that yeah, this went like, mental. It's like that was a peak, and then it's like, to, and then boom, it's but gone again. It's I've seen that a whole bunch of times. Like when the red wedding happened, it was like, fuck. Yeah, and for me, yeah, that's that's, that's that. still yeah. you're never going to top the red wedding. Oh, I just couldn't believe it when I actually seen it. I was like, no way, they've just done this. As a see Drogon, right? So we get in the battle, we see yeah. it going on. Bronn jumps off, falls over. And you see his money landing there, and yeah. it lingers on, like you were saying earlier, like it lingers on the money, and you think, he's going to grab the money. I thought he was going to lose his head. Mm-hmm. Don't lose your head. I thought he was going to go for the money and get toasted. But, oh, nice. but he runs off and goes and gets the crossbow. Mm-hmm. The scorpion, is it called? Scorpion. Yeah. See, when Jamie said, go get this, I, couldn't, I didn't quite hear it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what? Have they got it with them? Mm-hmm. Have they, oh. And then he goes and grabs it, and I'm like, I don't want. But, but actually, well, I, don't like, I don't like Danny that much, actually. Dragons are cool. So then suddenly I was thinking, I want Bronn to win. Imagine if it and I've generally been a Lannister. Mm-hmm. Imagine if it picked her off, like the, the bolt. Picked oh her my off god! The she'd, be, she'd be off. <laughs> she'd just be circling the planet. Light of dragons. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, right. Well, that's her done. That would have been hilarious for her. We cut back to the island and Miss Sandy's just like, I think you're in charge now, John. <laughs> Does that mean that Miss Sandy's in charge? No, it would be Tyrion, I suppose. Oh yeah, Tyrion, yeah. Tyrion's a hand. Um, but Tyrion but yeah. was there. Yes. Which, which I thought was kind of odd. Yeah, but actually thinking back, I, he wasn't at the beach with John uh, when uh, Theon and that arrived. You know, it's, someone said, oh, I'll get to it, I'll get to the end. So Tyrion's there and he's kind of looking at Jamie like, I'm thinking, oh, he's going to change sides. He, he's really, he really, well, when the Dothraki says to him about you guys can't fight, and he's watching. You can, you can tell like, he's then he's then watching his fellow house members um, all getting slaughtered, and you, you can tell he's he's annoyed about it. But yeah. I think he's less happy with the fact Jamie's at risk. I think that's the, the yes. key concern for him because Jamie is one of his best. Jamie's friends. a good cunt. Yeah. So I've heard. Dennis not... is better. <laughs> they, do you know what? they don't they don't swear like they used to? They don't have any tits like they oh, used Leonard to. Oh, Leonard Tyrell was. Swearing. Not there's not there's not the same swearing yeah. that they used to have, but there's mm-hmm. not the same tits and and mm-hmm. and wieners. There's no space yeah. for it now. So they got time to do it. And, uh, like, yeah, back, be, being a Baelish in his in his whole house. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So always have scenes in there just so you have movies in the background. Yeah. Yeah. I miss the whorehouse or Roz. Roz, I like Roz. Anyway, mm-hmm. um, was she the one who was clubbed to death by? She wasn't clubbed. That was the one that um, Joffrey used as target practice on his new crossbow. I'm sorry, Joffrey was fucking excellent. <laughs> It's very That's rare, the, I, but it was good that I hated a joke. I get what you yeah. mean. It's yeah. very rare that I dislike a villain, mm. and I wanted wondering. to get a hold of him. He was wondering about the Edinburgh Festival when I was performing there in 2012. Yeah. Ian was like, Ian had seen him, I think, or something like that. Yeah, yeah I hadn't seen him, but apparently he was. Apparently, he gets loads of shit for it all the time. Uh-huh. Has Has Jack Gleason actually ever? Has he done anything since, or is he now so? He done cast? Batman Begins before, before yeah, before, but since. Do you think he, you know he now got so What's typecast that? as Joffrey? He was in Batman Begins. There's a lot of oh, he's the wee kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think, though, now he's been tarnished? It's going to take a long time for him to slowly get back up to... I think he's now. going to it's going to take a couple more years. He's going to hit the gym, get swole, and then... It won't matter. It won't matter. Yeah, yeah. Do a couple of indie films, and then fucking... Get back on. Joffrey's swole well, and hot now! Year. You know, one of those ones. And, and then everyone will be like, oh... Friday. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Entertainment Weekly. Yeah. <laughs> Or any other magazine that's out there that you might like to read. Uh, uh, or, or that we don't endorse. Sponsor us. Yeah, or one, yeah, sponsor us. <laughs> uh, Entertainment <laughs> Weekly, you know. You can. Yeah. We'll keep plugging you. Yeah, there you go. 
Um, so, so yeah, yeah. Um, and then Jamie's Jamie's like, do you know what? I could totally do this right now. Yeah. I could totally end this war oh, right yeah. now. Fuck it, I'm taking her out. Fuck it, let's go. We've missed a bit though. What, when Drogon gets speared? Yeah. Aye. Yeah, yeah. So Drogon gets hit in the shoulder. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he's on the ground. And then Jamie thinks, you know what? I could totally fucking win this now. Yeah. I could totally I'm fucking to end attack. this war. Are you She's stealing my shit? <laughs> he's stealing my shit. Honestly. <laughs> was that what you were about to say? No, that's what you just said. Living off, living off the daddy here. <laughs> living off oh, daddy, yeah. I'm not paying attention. Uh, Fuck's sakes. Right. Um, what a guy. Carry on. Yeah, and then Tyrion, and Tyrion's like, no, flee, you fool. Don't, be, you a don't be a fucking fool. Don't be a fucking idiot. Oh, God. He's proper raging by this point. Tyrion thinks, is so fucking good. He thinks, he's thinking, nah, that's it. Jamie's just, Jamie's just killing him. And then you see Drogon's head come down, and I was like, no! Oh, fuck. No. And then, I, I, I'm i convinced it's Bronn. It was Bronn. Bron. But it could be Brickon. Yeah. Uh, no, it was mm, Bronn. I've seen footage, I've seen yeah, images of it. Oh, all right, okay, fine. Yeah, I'll share one. I, sh- I shared one with you earlier. This is the meme. This is all the meme. This is now the interesting, like, how is it they able to skip along on their horses in, in, in two foot, two inch yeah. more, and then when yeah, he look. falls off the horse sideways, though. Like, that's him like charging picture. through the water, and that's him taking him out. So oh, yeah. The ankle high water in the fucking Mariana's trench right <laughs> next to you. Know? <laughs> <laughs> There's a casual lake with the slope. Yeah. There's a Game of Thrones like with an inverse <laughs> slope. <laughs> you need to post that later. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah, yeah I was kind of like, when I was watching Jamie sink, I was thinking, eh? Should Maybe Gendry just... will roll past and pick him out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> or was just like an army of white walkers just walking uh, yeah. underneath. On the, on the... <laughs> And Fine. they just imagine like that's how the, how how the next episode starts. White Walkers just come out of the fucking water. You've got an injured dragon. Daenerys is like fuck. Dothraki are half half dead. Jamie's army is pretty much totally burnt to crisp. Jamie's fucked up. And you're just yeah. like, what the shit? The right fucking here. Yeah. Thing is, there was an interesting point I read earlier where you know how right Drogon is named after Cal Drogo. Yeah. Yeah. And Cal Drogo. You read the same thing as me. Cal Drogo was in charge of the knife in the shoulder right in the same uh-huh. way Drogon got an arrow in the shoulder uh-huh. the wound which eventually killed him uh-huh. so the people are now losing their shit saying they think Drogon's going to be killed from that, that one arrow in the shoulder yeah. he used to be a dragon until he took an arrow to the shoulder so and then died there you go from like blood poisoning yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. interesting yeah. that was a fucking pussy ass death for Cal Drogo wasn't it that yeah. was so disappointing. It yeah. kind of came out of nowhere as yeah. well. It was just... I, I, I imagine, the only thing I can think of is that Jason Momoa was like, I want out. Yeah, I'm going to do other stuff now. And they're like, I was really? Was he not faithful to the book, though? Maybe. I don't know why. Don't but he was too them. fucking cool. He was pretty good. Yeah. It was pretty sweet when he was getting it. I think it, if he was mark. a character in the book, and... <laughs> you you would say, like... No, just Raven Daddy. No! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Raven, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, it was pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes we just can't get ourselves out of these holes. <laughs> we just have to sort of move on to the next hole. Yeah, yeah. But it, like a Saturday night. Whoa! <laughs> so, I, I I pretty much enjoyed this episode. Oh, I loved it. Yeah. yeah it a lot of shit happened. Um, like, you got the, the Starks together again for the most part. You know, you got to see a wee bit of Brienne doing her thing. You got to see Pod kind of You got her to see Arya doing her thing. This is the first time we've really seen her fighting. Except how she, how much she, she can go. Yeah. Because normally you see her fighting like a, another small it was, girl. It was way for someone like that, yeah. And it's like, as much as you think they're pretty talented, you think they're small children. Yes. So how tough could they be? And then she fights basically what you would consider to be a giant. Most people would consider yeah. Brienne <laughs> to be a, a giant. Yes. You know? So that we was had, pretty sweet. We had no Tarly at the Citadel. We had no Mountain and his Band of Brotherhood. Brotherhood without banners. That one, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Brotherhood. Someone's of getting tired now. Yeah. <laughs> Game over. I should be asleep by now, normal. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, so was there any theories or anything you want to throw out there that you mm, had looked into? I think you, I think you mentioned that. Or what was the one about? Through. Somebody somebody said, I think Tyrion's going to get him out of the water. I'm like, Tyrion's fucking little legs could not carry him all that <laughs> distance before Jamie was a skeleton. Who, who said that? I can't remember who it was, but somebody said, oh, maybe Tyrion will get him out of the water. It's like, 
No. With what? <laughs> he would have to be catapulted over to the ward. <laughs> and then he'd get to Jamie and be like, oh, how, well, how well could Tyrion swim? Just... Uh, well, just look, at, look, at, look at Ellie Simmons. She's pretty good at swimming. Who's that? The Paralympian. She's a little, little person. She's, you realised you had no idea what you were allowed to call her there, didn't you? I didn't. I was just like, well, yep. I'm going to say the D word and I thought I'm not allowed to say that anymore. Well, so I'm dwarf. Can you say right, little yeah. person? Huh? Can you say little person? Little person? I don't really know. We're not sure. So yeah, see, in, getting, today's, in today's modern world, he's getting all scared about calling a midget a dwarf. So... I don't know. I, it's been nice about I was brought yeah. up in entertainment in the 90s, so, so dwarf, midget. The, midget. <laughs> the Dothrakis could have tossed him. <laughs> midget tossing. <laughs> Just like in Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> oh, I fucking love that film. Smack oh, them off a target, you know? <laughs> yes. Possibly. <laughs> but still, I don't think, I don't know if you could swim that well. Hmm. I don't know. Especially, I don't, he, he couldn't rescue his brother. Especially in the in the in the was he wearing armor? Maybe he wasn't wearing armor. So he was no. wearing his hand cloak. Oh, okay. That plate armor is not very. Easy. It's not like you can just like throw it off, really. Is it? It's proper strapped in. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Not you like, need to use two Jamie's, hands. That's why Jamie's fucking yeah. red. That's why you've always got the squire that helps him. Yeah. Right. So he, yeah. So how the fuck are they going to get out of this? Because I don't think Brom is not Brom wearing armor. I think I think the dragon's going to bring him out. Really? Think, mm-hmm. You think Danny will just get like Dogon is just how Tyrion's going to be like rescue him you know, and make him our prisoner yes yeah. and yeah. then we can talk about Samantha Beatles Samantha Beatles <laughs> what? <laughs> Orson Orson their cousin that they talk about Samantha Beatles you know remember no this is years ago you watched this now. this was season 4 Network. episode 8 or 9 we had a cousin called Orson. He wasn't the brightest of fellows. I remember, I mean, I have a vague he recollection. He all day just smashing a rock against a stone. I didn't know what he was doing. Something like that. He goes, he goes, he goes. And, he goes. and what was the, what was the point of the story? That, he, that Lannisters, oh, no. Lannisters no. inherently want to destroy the weaker people? No, it was something to do with, like, I, but I knew something was going on in his brain. That was the point that Tyrion was going on, but he knew... He, no one else and could see it. That's the moment I knew, knew that you know so and so did this and blah blah blah. Yeah. Mm. It was a, it was a mild and it was it. Professor Plum with the candlestick in the kitchen. <laughs> it's always Colonel Mustard. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so what's the theory that we've got on the website? Where's the, what's the website? So what's the, what's the, the, the Puff Geek Podcast? Bl- the the Puff Geek <laughs> Puff Geek. Ah! Puff Geek. The Puff Geek. <laughs> Can- you oh no! He's a puff geek. puff geek. The Buff Geek Podcast blog at WordPress dot com. That's because you're you're eating. That's why you fucked it up because you're eating again during the podcast. Ain't no you eat during the mouth. podcast. You go for pisses during the podcast. The most unprofessional motherfucker ever. <laughs> We're never getting hired by the BBC. We're never making millions of dollars or pounds. Yeah. If we made it big, people would listen back to these podcasts, and we wouldn't last a week. <laughs> So you say we'd be a, we'd be a Daily Mail headline every day. <laughs> Can you believe <laughs> David Stoey called someone <laughs> this a midget? <laughs> Steve likes to think about people's arses covered in shit or the something Buff like that. racist comments about Johnny Storm burnt to a crisp. <laughs> <laughs> but that wasn't me, was it? It was an accidental one by us. <laughs> What was the wait? so the, wait, the, you casually dropped in Tony Dark once and I didn't even register. <laughs> <laughs> Terrence Howard looked more like Tony Dark oh, than dear. like how you'd imagine Tony Dark to be. Yeah, more to look. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Bronn of the Blackwater, a title he receives after when he's knighted after the Battle of Blackwater, where Stannis attacks the King's Landing. Uh-huh. Um, and when Tyrion introduces him to Tywin, he says, Bronn, son of... To which Bronn replies to Tywin, you wouldn't know him. Just like that. And it's a kind of funny moment. It's like, oh, it's typical Bronn, you know. Ah, you wouldn't know him, kind of thing. But what they're saying, or what Kev's written here, is that his abilities as a fighter are beyond that of the average man. Yes. And his knowledge of literature has been shown to be exceptional. Um, he's mentioned all the things he's read, and he seems to understand things better than Tyrion in some cases. Like that. Um, he's even a very very skilled fighter he bested the champion of the veil and trained Jamie to fight does he purposely fight dirty to hide his highborn training he received as a young lord to be um, 
and it refers to House Rain of Castamir, which is who the Rains of Castamere song is about. It's not Rains falling down, it's House Rain. Oh, okay. The Rains of Castamere. And what happens is basically Tywin, there's an uprising and a rebellion. It Ty- Titus? Or is it his dad? Uh, Titus, yeah, Titus. Titus, yeah. Basically what happens is there's a rebellion. They thwart the rebellion, force the Rains into a mine, and then flood it. And what they're saying is there's a theory that Bronn's the last surviving member of House Rain. So, so he might turn on the Lannisters in the end of it. That's why he doesn't mind taking all their money. He mm-hmm. keeps asking for more, and that's why he wants the castles and things like that. Because he's trying to get back a bit of what they stole from him. I buy it. It's very it That's fits. tasty. Like, so dude, if man. you go to the website, you'll be able to read mm-hmm. that under Game of Thrones theories. It has been very, very popular today. That is really nice. And it makes a lot of sense because he's kind of like... Tyrion, but full size and can fight. Yes. You know so what I mean? Is. Yeah. So that's pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. Good. Anything else you guys want to add? Yep. No, I really like that. That's a great that's a finish you're to, to it. Go, you're going to have to go and read that theory in full now. It's good. Yeah. Or you can just tell me it. I just did. <laughs> right, well... <laughs> I give you a summary. <laughs> good. You get the detail from Kev. Okay, I'll go read it then. Well done, Kev. And you Thanks, folks man. should as well. That was tasty. That's... Is that my favourite episode of the season so far? Maybe. Yes. It was pretty... Of this season, yeah. It was pretty... It's just good the across the board. There was no kind of... Every bit... Like, I watched it today and I was going to go for my afternoon recovery snooze. And I was thinking, I'll watch maybe a little bit of the bit. I'll have 20 minutes and then I'll get back up and I'll watch the rest of it. I couldn't sleep. Couldn't, yeah, just keep going. And recovery snoozes are important. Did yeah. you learn that from Alpha Fitness? I did. Yes. Twenty oh, a I twenty like minute that. power snooze can increase your recovery a fuck ton. It works for me at my desk. I'm gonna put it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna wait, I'm gonna put it. <laughs> can't even get a decent night's nice kip mm. well, on a fucking snooze in the day. At your desk, motherfucker! Or oh, if you can't get a decent night's nice kip, then there's no point in taking creatine. Just saying. Mm. It's it's those little things, you know, like unless you're getting six to eight hours, don't be taking hold like Oh, I mean, and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's maybe for another podcast for another time. Yeah. Sign <sighs> off. Yo, no. You were about to say something. I was going to say, are you going to be here for next week's one? Uh, I could probably leave work early. Yes. Okay, so because next week we might have to change days. Oh, okay. Might have to be Wednesday. Uh, I should still be able to. Anyway, I'll figure that out. Yep. Yeah. But we'll talk about that later. Yep. So, folks, what I'm saying with that is that you may well get next week's uh, Game of Thrones a review early. a day early. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. But it mean? means you've got one less day in which to watch, watch it. it. That's fine. Okay. I just no, like that to was wa- an anticlimax. I just like to watch it on the. <laughs> I know. I thought I'd take it away from you. I just like to watch it on the day that we're talking about it. Ah, uh, okay. You see, mm. you dig. It's about being fresh, yo. I like so it to I be fresh. It well, I don't know why I watch it twice. I, I skip the first half an hour in little two-minute segments so I can get the rough idea of what happened when, and then I watch the last. That sounds minutes like way too much fun. Does, does does your woman watch it with you? No, she doesn't watch it. Okay, yours? No. See, it'd be much easier if the woman's watched it. Aye, because you don't fucking sneak it somewhere, do you? Aye. It's like when, you, when you've got a mistress, if they just joined in, it'd be so much easier than sneaking about. <laughs> well, this is the thing, right? I would make it way more efficient. Mm, yeah. And it would kind of mix things up a little bit. You just bit. dip it in both and you're done for the week. Exactly. Yeah. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> bada bang, 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 bang. Realist bang. guys in the room. Splurge. Anyway, on that note, let's sign off Steve. Uh, oh, <laughs> fucking hell, what is it? You go, you go. No, 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 this is all right. you now. Twitter's at Wise Pranker. Right. And, um, <laughs> Speak up! Stephen Housewrath at Facebook and on Instagram. Sorry. Oh, fucking fuck's sake. I feel. What time were you up working this morning? Nah, my alarm at quarter past five this morning. Ouch. Yeah, and it's going to go to quarter past five again tomorrow. Okay, so you're excused for being tired. Mm. And you, sir? <laughs> Find me in the usual places at D Stoby, and you'll get us on the Buff Geek Podcast blog. WordPress.com. Over to you, big guy. That is beautiful. Everything he said, you can find him, me, us, everywhere at the Buff Geek. Hashtag the Buff Geek Podcast.
Dakares. <laughs> no, I'm not even looking at you now. Switch off. <laughs> Amazing, eh? Dracarys! <laughs>